Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph here. Today I'm showing you a little bit of real-time rendering, but then also VR workflow with Enscape. And let's get to it. So I have this model that's been prepared. It is still working in progress. So there are some tweaks to be made as well as design improvement, but you should be able to kind of get the feel of the space. And I'm gonna use VR to verify my designs and perhaps learn if it needs some tweaking or improvements. So here is that model. And you can see that it has some adjacent site features and there's some units within this volume that I have been creating. And let's just start Enscape and see how that looks like. And you can do that by just clicking on this button, Start Enscape. Click that and it should just sort of transfer the geometry and the materials and Enscape window should pop up and let's jump right into VR mode. So I'm gonna part that to one side and also just bring this SketchUp screen to the left and pin this, press that button here, enable, disable VR headset. So let me just turn on these controllers and I should be able to just put this on and view that. Just a note, I'm in a C-tint mode, not a room scale, and apologies for the fan noise because my computer is kicking in a lot of cooling on my graphics card. So let me put this on. You should be able to see everything on the screen that I see on my headset. On the left hand, I have this menu to operate, so I can just go in here and choose the mode that I want to be in. So right now I'm in seated mode. I get seated, but if I move a little bit, um, I'll be adjusted to normal people's height. Therefore, I don't feel like I'm sitting all the time. Fly mode, walk mode. The walk mode, I'm basically stuck onto the ground. I cannot fly around, whereas in a fly mode, I should be able to just go into the space. So. That control is available for you and here I can also control the outlines, just drag that by using the little button that is over here. So I should be able to adjust that in the time of the day and I should be able to just kind of drag that around and change the, how the space looks. So I'm just going to park it right there and if I just kind of come away from the menu and then the menu just seems to just kind of close on its own. My right hand I'm able to have this sort of laser pointer which I can just point on the floor and just use this trigger and click and shoot just like a gun and onto the floor and I should be able to jump to that place. I can just turn around physically and go to somewhere else if I wish to or use these thumb pads. So if I look at the controller, um, it highlights what it does. So for example, the button up here is saying a recenter tracking and elevate for the thumb pad or turn and the bottom here is the teleport that it says. And here also the thumb pad says move, enable walk or fly mode um, with this button that's on the side. As in my room, it's difficult to turn around. What I'm going to do is just use this thumb pad as a turn. So I'm able to turn and also use this thumb pad here, which highlights as orange and I can just move. So with these two dials, I'm able to just kind of float around the space. And if I just press forward, depending on where my head is, I should be able to just kind of walk in that direction. And sometimes this can be kind of disorienting, so I do prefer to just use this laser pointer to jump or teleport rather than using this ghosty, flowy uh, motion. Some people, this can be very, very disorienting. So I'm just gonna stand over here and just look through the space the ceiling and how the site is outside and the environment. I'm able to evaluate the space.
and I can still move the person so either use a 3D mouse such as this or use the keyboard to just kind of move from backwards and EQ to just kind of move around the space and I can use my 3D mouse to just kind of float around the space For example, that person should not be sitting or standing inside a staircase and those changes that I can actually make inside of Enscape. So assume that the person is viewing, so say your client is viewing in VR mode or yourself as a designer is just evaluating your scene and if you notice certain things then you can change on the fly. So let me just demonstrate that. Okay, so I have taken off the headset and it still is on and you should be able to just kind of see that on the screen But I'm just gonna set it so that as if you're still wearing it I'm just gonna go into SketchUp So I need to get rid of him or move him just to demonstrate I'm just gonna go component edit hide the rest of the model I should be able to just kind of see everything and move that person out of the way rescue him out and I should be able to see that change right away. So that person has just moved, popped out. Let me just try and put him here maybe. So click that person move tool and then just move him right over here. And I should be able to see him here. And if I wish that certain things are different, maybe this shouldn't look like a metallic surface and not blue. And I can just go in here, use a paint bucket tool to sample that and then come in here to change that. Instead of the metal, I can change to something else. And the Enscape uses the keyword for picking up these materiality. So I can just say stairs, change to sort of a darker orange, desaturated, so brownish color. And if I go back into the scene, that should just sort of apply. So I should be able to just kind of validate and change the model on the fly. And certainly this is a very different workflow to any other application that I've come across where you have to export and import into the VR mode or do a couple of processes of upload and download whereas this one is all done locally and you're just a matter of opening up SketchUp and launching and change things on the fly and this makes this VR as well as real-time rendering process possible for doing design iterations and design workshops and sitting around with clients who's wearing the VR headsets and be able to move certain things and change in your VR presentation. So whatever the changes that you make inside of SketchUp should apply to your VR mode and you should be able to change time of the day as well as decide a certain thing is turned on and off. For, for example, I can just go ahead and hide this and it should just kind of go away inside of your view. So your stairs is not there. So you can basically present your design options this way. You can set it up as a layer or a component that attaches to your model. And if I decide to bring that back by going edit, unhide all the stairs, come back in. And if you or your client ever get stuck in certain type of view, then you can also kind of get them out or move in a way. So whilst they're inside of VR mode, I can just use my keyboard as well as a mouse or a 3D mouse or Xbox controller to kind of move them or just use this synchronized view button here and then just go through the SketchUp views. So I hope this sort of shows you the features that Enscape has and if you like the video please like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to watch this type of videos thank you and i'll see you next time